What is going on guys? Ronnie Rock Smith here with USA Digi. I wanted to upload this video for you guys. So in this video, we're going to be talking about three email marketing tips to get better engagements. So in tip number one, this is a little method that I call video fake out. So basically, if you ever checked your email and you noticed a streaming image inside of it that made you want to click on that image, well, that's video fake out. Basically, video fake out is using a clickable animated image to get your subscribers to click. In this day and age, everyone is trained to want to click on videos. YouTube, Vimeo, Facebook, video is everywhere. And who doesn't like to click on a good engaging video, right? Okay, there's a few ways to make these animated GIFs. I'm going to show you two ways that I personally use, and I'm going to show you how to set it up inside your email platform. Now, I'm using GetResponse, so if you're not using GetResponse, your autoresponder may work similar to this one, but if you seem to like GetResponse, you can go ahead and give it a try. There's a 14 day trial that you can try it out. See if you like it. I'll leave the link to that in the description. Now to have this to work, actually, you're going to need to set up an email address inside of your website. And of course, you would want to use that email in GetResponse Pro as well. So the two different programs that I used to do this is VidEasy created by Brett Rutiki, which is actually a hosting platform where you can brand your video players and whatnot, but you can also use this as a GIF creation tool. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. And the second way to do this is a free tool online called Easy GIF. And I'm gonna show you how to use that as well. Okay, so we're in the VidEasy platform. Again, if you don't have this platform, that's fine. I'll show you another method. If you do, um, maybe want to check this out, maybe pick it up or whatever. I'm going to leave a link in the description. So basically this platform is kind of like YouTube in a way um, where you can host your own videos, but you can also brand the player of the video, which is pretty cool. If I go to this first one here, you can see what I mean here. It says powered by VidEasy. Now you would have to do the upgrade, um, upgraded package and you can actually put your name here which is kind of cool so powered by USA Digi Academy whatever or you can put a website here whatever you want but that is an upgraded feature so anyway let me show you how to add in your GIF so first we need to add the video so let's go ahead and click my videos click the upload button and please note it says down here max video size is only up to 250 megabytes max right so keep that in mind before you try to upload. If it doesn't upload, that's the reason why. So I'm gonna choose my file here. If you don't know the size of the video, you could just put your mouse over here and a little pop-up window show size 81.3 megabytes. So that's fine. So we'll click the upload button. Error, incorrect file type sleepydogs.mov your video must be mp4 so keep that in mind too okay so we have to cancel that let's go grab a video here my last review that i made for profit maximizer so i'm going to upload that and i know it's under 250 megabytes so i'm just gonna no need to look at it okay so while okay there it goes okay one thing I like to do once I upload in here is edit the name. So I'm just going to click on this edit button here. I just like to take off that .mp4 off the back end. Okay, and then I click save video settings. Okay. Okay, so the next step I want to go is over here to my GIFs. So I click on that. And as you can see here, profit maximize review. That's my new video. Create GIF. Okay. Now you can choose where you want the GIF to start. So I'm going to go to about 23 seconds and start it there. So it's going to be a three second GIF. Okay, so just click on the create GIF button here and that's created. I'm going to give it a couple of seconds to make sure it's finished. Okay, let me go back. Should be good now. And let's have a look of what it looks like. 
Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like. I can set this at video thumbnail. I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so here's what you need to do to use this in your email. Simple, just right click on the image, save image as. You can leave it this name. I like to name him so I know what they are. So this is profit maximizer dash gif. Okay, and I'm gonna save that to my desktop so I can find it easily later. Okay, so this part is done. So now we're gonna jump into Get Response, show you how to do this. Now, cool thing about Get Response is it has a lot of ways to get to stuff. Like uh, if I clicked on the email marketing button here, that would lead me in here and I would have to come up here to newsletter, greed newsletter, whatnot. Let me go back to the dashboard. But there's a convenient little button right here. Create autoresponder, create newsletter. So this is very quick. Just click this and click the drag and drop. Okay, test. Just gonna name this test just to, for example purposes here. And you can also create your own templates, which is one thing that I've always done since I've been using this. Okay, hold on. Oh, that's fine. I'll show you how to do it here. So in here, I can't really add an image. So I would need to, uh, you see I have this already, but it's not separated, okay? So what I would have to do here is transfer this and this down by using these blocks. So I'm going to show you how to do that, just in case you have no idea on how to do this stuff. So what I need to do, since this is a text and this is an image, I'm going to drag this text block underneath and then an image block under that. Okay, what I want to do is take this, actually drag this down here. Actually, I don't need this one because this one was separated already, so I'll just delete that. Okay. And I want to copy this down here. Paste that in. Okay, now this block is actually transparent and I want it to match the white. So if I click on there, I go here to background, drop, make sure this is set to white, and then okay. Okay, and now it fills in. Now, my spacing, I always do 50 spacing here, so I'm just gonna click on my spacing button from the left here, to 50. That's just how I do my spacing. Aerial, 18. Okay, so that matches. Delete this, backspace. Okay, so now I put my text in here. Yada, yada, yada. Whatever, whatever you want to say. And I'm going to need one more image block, so I'm going to drag that right here. And now we need to choose our GIF image. So click on that. So now you just upload your GIF image. So upload file here. Go to my desktop to find my image. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Okay, as you can see, I already had it in here, but I just wanted to upload it again to show you. Now this is a pretty big image file. I want to make it a little smaller. So to do that, all you do is click on it and drag this little slider, okay? Just to make it load faster in your uh, emails. So I'll go ahead and leave it like that and I'll drag this little bar up here. Get rid of some of the space. 
Okay, so now we got that in place, we need to make it clickable. Now this is for my bonus page, so I wanna link it to my bonus page, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna click on it, click on the little link icon here, and I'm gonna insert my bonus page link, click OK. Okay, so now it's clickable. I'm gonna go ahead and set my spacing again to match. Okay, so it matches my text here, so it'll be in line. Okay, so a cool thing here is this is in the newsletter settings. So if I want to save this template so I don't have to keep doing all the work that I just did, we could save this. So you just come down here to save as and save as template. Okay, that way each time you want to do this particular little method, the video fake out, everything will be in place. All you have to do is change your image, change your text and whatnot. So speeds up your process. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is send a test email to make sure this is gonna work. Make sure our animated GIF is working and clickable before we send this out to our massive list. So let's go ahead and send a test message here. I'm gonna go ahead and send it to this. Okay, so let's go ahead and check the email right quick. Okay, here we go. So let's make sure Yep, and it's playing and make sure it's clickable. And it looks like it's working. Okay, great. Okay, guys, so that's as simple as it gets in Git response. You don't have to mess with HTML code or anything like that. Just bring in the GIF animated image and you're good to go. Okay, so there's a couple of differences uh, in using the vidEasy software here to create GIFs and using the free online tool. So the first thing is that vidEasy is, it creates GIFs for three seconds long. If you want a longer GIF, you can use the tool online. But the reason I like vidEasy is because I can host my videos here. So if I need a sales page video, I don't want to use YouTube because it's going to show those videos afterwards and distract my visitors from buying anything from my page. They might go on YouTube or whatnot, right? So this is a good reason to use vidEasy. But let me go ahead and show you how to use the free online tool now. So you're going to want to go to easygift.com, okay? Pretty simple, right? So first thing you want to do is click on video to GIF here. Okay, you're going to want to choose the video. I'm going to go ahead and grab the same video that I used. Okay, now notice this one has a smaller max file size, so it has to be under or 100 megabytes or under. Okay, so that's your limit there. Okay, so our video is selected. Now we just need to click on the upload video button. Now this will take a few seconds. Now, if it looks like it's not doing anything, if you look down here, you'll see that it is uploading. If you see down here, uploading, that'll show you your stats. So what we're gonna do here is do a few things. We wanna decrease the size, as you can see, it's 1920 by 1080 because that's the size of the video. We want this to be about three or 400 pixels. So I'm gonna use 400 because it's a good file size for email. So my starting time will be here. I like to do 10 seconds on these. So I'm gonna make this uh, frame 30, see? 10 to 30 seconds. So start time's 20 seconds, end time's 30. So that's a 10 second GIF animation. And right here, we're gonna go ahead and do the size. We're gonna go ahead and make this 400 times. And just convert to GIF here. Okay, and it is ready, guys. So the only thing we have to do now is click on the save button. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, let's go ahead and open our folder. Downloads folder, that's where it's gonna be. Okay, so let me bring that over here. I'm gonna just rename this. I'm gonna name it something a little bit different because what we had before is already uploaded. So let's just put, uh, I'm gonna put profit 
max gif. Okay, cool. All right, so we know what this is. This is in our downloads folder, so I'll move that out the way. Let's go back to get response here. Okay, so I'm gonna swap this one out with the new GIF we just made, which is actually 10 seconds, and this one's three. So I'm gonna click on this picture. I'm gonna click on this image tab here, and I wanna upload the new GIF. So I need to go to downloads. New folder, and here it is. I put it in here to find it easily. Okay. Let this upload, there it's ready. Go ahead and insert it. Okay, so the only thing left is let's test it again to make sure that it is going to work. So we see the GIF animations work. So this is a new GIF we just inserted. Since we just replaced the image and we didn't delete it, our link is still attached. So if we click on here and we check the link, you can see the link is still attached so we don't have to change or do anything here. So let's go ahead and just send the new test message to make sure that it's working. Okay, it says email sent. Let's go ahead and refresh. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. All right, let's make sure that it works. Yep, there you have it. So we are good to go, guys. Tip number two is what I call mobilize me. So one thing to consider thinking about is how your subscribers are checking their emails. And I can guarantee you that almost all of them are checking it on their phones, right? Because this is, you know, the most convenient way because we're always on the go or wherever we at, we have our phones with us, right? So the trick is to make sure that your emails look great on the phone and not just on desktop, laptop, or tablets. So I'm gonna show you two quick ways to make sure that your emails look good on the mobile phones. So since I have this already in here, we can use this exact example for the mobile example as well. So if you look over here on the right hand side, you'll see how this actually will look on someone's mobile phone. So this is a very little convenient tool. You can also see how it look on the sideways, right? You can even scroll through the message with your mouse to see how everything's gonna look. Pretty cool, right? So here we go. Pretty cool. This is something else, guys. Uh, since I am an affiliate marketer, I highly recommend you putting these disclaimers inside of your emails and everyone if you're gonna be doing affiliate links or whatnot just to keep everything legal guys okay so that's another little free tip for you okay so that's the first way now what is the other way well you simply send the test and check it on your phone right so let me go ahead I'm gonna send another one this time I'm gonna send it to my other Gmail so I can check that right quick here we go all right so I should have it let me go ahead and pull this up Okay, so here it is. Uh, let's see if, I, if you can see this. I don't know if it'll focus. There we go, the top. Okay, there's the test. So let me open this up. And let's see what it looks like. Okay. So that's what it looks like, guys. So it looks pretty good, right? And tip number three is what I call whitelist stolen. <laughs> Now, so many people just overlook this and it's so damn important and it's the most effective way to make sure that your emails end up in your subscribers inbox. And if you've tried email marketing before and failed, well, this just might be the reason for your failure. So I'm going to show you one of my emails and how I implement this technique on how you can get your subscribers to whitelist you. So here's one of my emails and you can kind of see how I have it structured. And what I want you to make sure you do is on day zero, which is the email that they get automatically as soon as they sign up for your list or buy one of your products or whatnot, you want to make sure you tell them to whitelist, okay? And if they don't know how, you need to show them how. So here I have a link they can click on to go to my whitelisting video here. And they watch this and it'll show them how to whitelist my email address. 
So that's very important, guys. Now, I recently learned a new trick here uh, with Gmail. So I'm not sure if it works in other email programs, but if they are using Gmail, you can also show them this little trick as well. So you can make a quick little video and tell them, look, just hover over my email and you'll get this pop-up and then you can click add to contacts and that'll add you in there so that my emails can come into your inbox. Now I'm gonna go ahead and leave this link up here in the description so you can go ahead to that link and watch the video and kind of see what you need to do whenever you're making your video to show them how to do this, okay? So that's about it for this little section, guys. Just wanted to show you that right quick. Okay, so I hope that these tips helped you guys out. Thanks for watching Marketing Hacks. If you're new here to the channel, be sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down, and make sure you hit the bell icon so you can get notified when I put up new videos like these. I'm Ronnie Rock Smith with USA DG Academy. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. And guys, happy marketing. Oh! All the blood is rushing to my head. Hurry up. Click another video.